Did you create a presentation agent utilizing AI and want to edit your presentation? Well, let me show you how. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and like I mentioned, if you utilize the generate with AI option with our presentation agent and you want to edit something, I can definitely show you how to do that. So as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my workspace. And for this example, we're going to be utilizing Julie. So I'm going to edit my agent. And as you can see, we currently land in our presentation agent under channels. And I'm going to jump over to the player section. And if we choose the settings option right here, we have the ability to change our agent's voice. So if you prefer something different, all we need to do is click the change option. We can choose a different language, accent, gender, or age, and we can choose to listen here. I'm going to go ahead and stick with Lily for this example though. And if we want, we can show our agent avatar right down here. Now also within here is we have our navigation. So if you would like to edit what that looks like, you can definitely do that. All of this is going to be down in the bottom of our presentation. So if you would like to have it autoplay, so as soon as someone opens your presentation, it starts, you can do that. If you end up turning this off, you'll just have a big play button in the middle for your users to press play. You can also turn off ask questions, skip slide, the slide panel or the chat panel as well. Now from here, I'm going to click over to our slides option and here is where we can see all of our slides and you can see each slide is going to come up with edit slide and also regenerate slide. So if I choose to edit our slide, we can see that we can change the slide layout. So let's say I would prefer that picture to be maybe on the side. Perfect. Maybe the other side. We get to change what that looks like. We can also edit it right down here to regenerate a new slide. The next one over, we also have our script. So if you want to completely, let's say I, I don't want this sentence at all, completely take that out. If we want to type something in for our script, we can do that as well. Another thing we can do is let's say I want to regenerate this image. I want something a little bit different or maybe different colors. We can type in what we want right here and then choose to regenerate image. Everything on here, since it is AI generated and not uploaded by you, you can easily change every piece of this right over here on the right hand side. Now let's say that you decide that you don't want this slide. You can easily delete a slide and let's say you want to add in a new slide. All you have to do is choose where you want that slide to go and choose add in slide and describe the slide that you would like to be added in. Now, as of right now, we're currently in the build tab. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and pull up our other channels. Another thing that we can do is we can edit our avatar. So if you would like to edit how your AI agent looks, all we need to do is again, come up here to standalone. We can choose our paint roller and we can generate a new agent avatar right down here. Maybe we want a mascot or just something completely different. And again, we can also use the generate option to get something more specific to what we are looking for. Now, something else that we can do is we can make those edits from the publish tab. So I'm going to go ahead and jump down to presentation agent. We can edit those slides here, brings us right back over to the build tab. But if we want, so we can choose to edit scripts here as well. We can export rename and we can delete the entire presentation from here. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to edit your presentation that's generated by AI, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.